Brothers and sisters, I can't shut up. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you everything I know today about this lamp right here. You see, this lamp means a lot to me. This lamp used to belong to my great aunt Ruth, and that is no lie. This lamp belonged to my great aunt Ruth, and uh, I was uh, setting up house for myself and got my first apartment, and she gave me this lamp. And uh, to be honest, I can't ever remember the lamp being in her house. I can't. I don't know if the lamp meant anything to her. Probably not, because it wasn't like one of those. Oh, when I die, you get the lamp. Um, because she gave me the lamp long before she passed away. Um, so I don't know, I, I don't even know if the lamp actually belonged to her, but she gave me the lamp, I, and so it means a lot to me. It's, it's funny how that works, you know, sometimes we can attach meaning to something without really there being meaning there. But Aunt Ruth gave me the lamp, so it, I, every time I look at it, I think great Aunt Ruth. Aunt Ruth was a pretty special lady. She lived with us a lot growing up because she was, uh, in some uh, transitionary phases in life, and uh, she lived with us for quite a while, and uh, it was some special times with Great Aunt Ruth, and she she was a funny lady. She was a good time. Uh, she was a very proper lady in her own sense, and she was, uh, you know, never said anything bad about anybody. Uh, the strongest language I ever heard Aunt Ruth use was doggone it. When she said doggone it, you knew you were in trouble. She got really mad. She would say, doggone it, and that was it. You knew you were in trouble then, boy. So, uh, but she was a pretty, pretty special lady. I think, uh, I think I learned a little bit about country music from her and, uh, she was really important to me and, uh, she, <laughs> I have so many memories of my great aunt Ruth. Uh, she was a really special lady. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, she, uh, she, well, she loved Johnny Carson. That is a, a big important thing. And if you don't know who Johnny Carson is, you can ask somebody older and they'll tell you all about Johnny Carson. And I can remember Aunt Ruth always talking about staying up to watch Johnny Carson, but I seriously doubt that she ever really made it to, uh, late enough to watch Johnny Carson, unless maybe she had a nap first, uh, which is possible because, you know, I was young and my sister was younger and, and my parents would be out and Aunt Ruth was there and she was in charge and they'd come home and Aunt Ruth would be in the chair. She Every night after dinner, you know, in the evening, she'd sit down in the chair once everything was done with the newspaper to read the newspaper. And every night she fell asleep. I don't think she ever got much past the first page and she would be asleep. And also, if you're too young and you don't know what a newspaper is, you can ask somebody older about that, too. We used to read newspaper on paper. And, uh, yeah, she'd fall asleep with the newspaper. My parents would come in and Aunt Ruth would be sleeping in the chair. Maybe that was the nap she needed in order to be able to be staying up late enough for the Johnny Carson. I don't know. Now, Aunt Ruth was a pretty special lady. She liked, she, I can remember her laugh. And uh, she would she would say some funny stuff. And, and to be honest, I don't remember the details of this, but I'm fairly confident that I learned how to play poker from my great Aunt Ruth. I can remember me and my sister and Aunt Ruth sitting down playing cards, and we liked to play Old Maid with Aunt Ruth. That was a game we played a lot. And then one day she taught us how to play poker. But, uh, you know, that was a pretty special memory. And I, I can remember one time I was going outside to go uh, sled riding down the hill. We had a big hill in the backyard. We go sled riding, and she she made a joke as I'm going out. You're not gonna have any trouble getting back up the hill because uh, all that ham and bean soup you ate, you'll just uh, rip right up the hill. And <laughs> she made great ham and bean soup, <laughs> and she all she cooked great food for us. She I she really I can remember the only thing she made that I didn't like was liver and onions. Uh, which is funny because that's one of my favorite things to eat now is liver and onions, but I never liked it when Aunt Ruth made it. It stunk. Liver and onions, it smells bad when you make that. Uh, but I digress. That has nothing to do with the lamp. So I had the lamp in my first apartment, and we had, a, we buy, had to buy a new lampshade for it. The old one was falling apart, so we got a new lampshade for it because lampshades don't hold up. And we had a, just a standard lampshade, and then I uh, had a lamp in the apartment all the years. And then I uh, got married to Mrs. Brother Jack, and we bought this house and moved in here. And somewhere along the way, she picked up this old lampshade. And uh, it, for some reason, Mrs. Brother Jack really loves this lampshade. It's just a round paper ball. I don't, I don't, don't tell her, but I'm not particularly attached to this lampshade. I don't, I don't really understand it. It's round. You can't get to the ball burning. I don't know, but. She loves that lampshade. So we've got that lampshade. And also, here's another funny story. Mrs. Brother Jack gets a kick out of this one. So uh, I had to, the wiring was shot on the lamp. I had to rewire the lamp. And uh, so really the only thing on this lamp that is original is the wooden post. 
So I don't know if I can even say it's Aunt Ruth's lamp anymore. It's sort of like a, you know, a mutant lamp or something. But I had to rewire the lamp here because the wiring was shot. And uh, I'm okay with that kind of stuff. And I'm a pretty sharp guy, I think. But, you know, I, I took the wire cutters and I went to cut the wire to put the new one in. And I forgot to unplug it. It's a simple mistake. It could happen to anybody, really. But Mrs. Brother Jack never lets me hear the end of that one. She, she thinks I must be pretty dumb to do that. So uh, I say, hey, you married me. So what are you going to do? So uh, that's everything I know about this lamp right here, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I love this lamp. This lamp reminds me a lot of my great Aunt Ruth. And I like to sit here in the evening with the light on. And you got a cup of tea sitting here in the summertime. The window's cracked and the breeze is blowing in. And I got a book. And I'll sit down here with the book in the evening. And I never get past the first page to him. Fast asleep in this chair, just like great Aunt Ruth. So there you go, brothers and sisters. That's everything I know about Great Aunt Ruth's lamp sitting right here. Until next time, you all be fantastic. <laughs>